Hi, I'm Fernando Molinares and this is my work in progress. I want to start this series uh, departing from this uh, particular painting that I did on my narrative class and was part of my 15 hour review and it's part of my series The Demonized Other in which I kind of make my own interpretation of the story of Saint George and the Dragon which uh, in brief is the story of this dragon that used to terrorize a community and then Saint George came and killed it and that's how he became saint and I tie up this story with the story of El Hombre Caiman or the Caiman Man which is a story uh, typical from my hometown and it has to do with a guy that used to disguise as a Caiman or it was Kaim, half Caiman half man um, to watch the women in the river bathing so it's a story that is very rooted in my hometown and that's what I want to use it. I have some sketches kind of left over from that class and I want to recycle them and use them for this series because I still would like to bring it up to paintings. Some of the inspirational references I am using is artist Luis Caballero from Colombia. I like his use of the human figure, especially the male body and how he does uh, this very express expressive and almost tortured bodies that I think would be very suitable for the work I want to do in this painting. I am also looking at the work of uh, a SCAD professor, Greg um, Eltringham, by suggestion of Steve. And I liked his use of color and the way he resolves the background. And talking about the background, I'm using some pictures from the river where, where that legend comes from. It's the River Magdalena and that passes by my hometown too. And I probably bathe in that river a couple of times. So I want to use it as part of the context and part of the background of the painting. Not necessarily doing like a landscape, but use it as more as a background. I also use... Uh, pictures of myself. I am my own model in this case. Not only because it's convenient and fun, but also because uh, I'm part of the story. This is basically a, a self-portrait and it's a um, self-inspired story. So I think it's, it's appropriate that I use my own body for it. Um, after taking some pictures, I do take them to Photoshop and do a composite of um, the composition I want and play with it, play with uh, tone, colors, and and design, <coughs> and come out with uh, my main reference for the painting. Uh, you saw all, all the photographs that I have, and uh, you said as my main reference. Then I start working in the background for the painting. I already laid it out, and it's uh, basically to set the tone that I want for the painting. Uh, colors that I think would help my my story and in the places where I need them. It's a very intuitive process. I don't really calculate it that much. Um, just trying to set the tone. After that I do my sketch of uh, full size of the painting um, in pencil or charcoal. And in this particular painting I, I I don't necessarily copy the the photographs exactly as they are. I just um, do my own drawing, kind of having fun with it. Then I transfer it into the already base canvas with charcoal, using all my I have my iPad as a reference all the time, and then start uh, finishing the painting, laying all the colors and tones. Uh, for this painting, a new element that I include in, in the series was something that I've used before in other series and is kind of my interpretation of the carrot on a stick, how we have always this element that we pursue and makes us do things, but uh, in the end we might never attain, attain. And I'm using it for this series too, in this case, the victimizer of the dragon is the one that uses the donut in a stick. In this case, it's going to be a donut. So here is some of my palette and work on my studio. Some of the paint application that I want to use. 
um, I'm trying to work on, uh, I'm working on trying to get faster at painting. So I'm setting a speed that I want to do for the whole process and I just keep going. And I think it's working for me. Uh, I think when you paint fast, you uh, the painting comes out uh, uh, more expressive, at least. That's the way I want it. And there's less interference of the mind. So this is the final product so far. Uh, I still have some more work to do in it. Uh, still to do the Cayman part of the dragon. Thank you.